In this clip, we'll begin the shaping process of the goatee or the Van Dyke. We're going to go ahead and raise the client up to make sure that they're a little bit closer to our eye level so that we're not uh, slouching over so we can get a better uh, view of what we're dealing with. The two parts that we're going to focus on is the outline as it relates to the side lines along the cheeks, the line underneath the chin, and also the line as it uh, falls along the lip line. The second phase that we'll deal with is the actual interior and the thickness of this hair in between. So to begin, we're using our regular hair cutting comb and we're combing all of this hair back away. And in doing that, we can see the extra length that needs to be removed as it extends onto the surface of the skin and away from the actual hairline from where it's growing. We're just gonna take a straight down line just to remove a little bit of that length. It's important, of course, to make sure that both sides end up symmetrical and balanced. So we're going to take a step back and look from the front view just to make sure that we've removed the same amount of length from both sides. Once we've, we've done this in the reverse action, then we want to comb it forward and down to make sure that we haven't left any stray strands. Once we've completed the outer perimeter line, then we can focus underneath the chin. Have the client tip his head back. And assuming that he's already shaved and removed uh, the hair that is not part of the goatee, we can come along then and just nail in a nice straight across line. The last step, step of the perimeter then addresses the lip line. And we're gonna first do that with scissors and then go back and clean it up with the clippers. So again, without snipping his lip, we're just going to remove the hair exposing the upper line of his lip. Mm 